This is an open letter to the Saint Society. Salute. Almost everything that we we agree on that almost everything that we have around us or we desire or we think we need all of it is are basically are not objective they're subjective matters the objective matters in life is, are basically down to food water and air you know water to keep your liquid level up food to you know get some energy to move around and air to you know be able to create that energy from food these are objective matters anything outside of this is subjective you know your race, your religion, your sense of what is beautiful, what is not, your sense of what is uh, fashionable, what is not, your sense of what is a good religion, what is not, the sense of what is a good life and what is not, this, all, all these senses, all these perceptions that we have, they're all subjective. And they all come from, you know, stories that we have told ourselves, you know, each human in a different part of the planet, belonging to a different nation, to a different tribe, to a different family, grows accustomed to very subjective parameters and decides that these subjective parameters are written in stone. They're the word of God which religion is better and which form of walking is better and which form of bending over is better and which form of sex is better and which form of this these are all based mostly on stories that people tell each other one generation after another next generation so when if you say it's subjective that means it's, there is room for advertisement you can be advertised a particular religion, you can be advertised a particular faith, you can be advertised a, a particular kind of beauty, a particular shape, and by true advertisement, it's advertised as this is the correct shape to be. You know, nose has to be this shape, and eyes has to be this shape, and ears have to be this shape, so you know, then we consider this as beautiful very subjective matters and con considering that these are so when you really look at it they are killing each other over subjective matters they in, in 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 Ukraine in Palestine in they're killing each other over subjective matter not objective and the, the 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 tragic part is based on these subjective ideas certain objectives have have been restricted for so many people it's sort of like okay you can't have food you can't have water you can't you know walk you have to hide in the holes and then we come and blow up your holes <laughs> laughable if it wasn't so tragic the point is this uh, you, you, you're, you're stop, stopping things that a, a group of people ob objectively need to stay alive and you bombing them and you know you're trying to blow them apart and take away the objective objective of all you know living creatures is to stay alive that's the main objective that's why they need the food and the water and air 
the ultimate objective is staying alive. You're, you're taking away the ultimate objective from them by cutting them off from these objectives that they really need to stay alive because of a subjective belief. A belief which is we, all, we already defined that is, is all belief are subjective. Subjective of to where you were born, in which family, in which ethnicity, in which part of the world. Very subjective, you know, and you're, you're taking the objectivity of staying alive from a large number of people based on, you know, in the case of Ukraine, who, who should be in charge? Should NATO be in charge of Ukraine or should Russia be in charge of Ukraine? These are very subjective. These are stories. These statesmen. Salute. Salute to the statesmen. These statesmen, if you can call them that, are ruining the world, fighting with each other over very subjective matters, which are all based on stories. The story of Europe and the story of Ukraine and the story of Russia and the story of Poland and the story of Germany and the story all these stories everybody has it not this fucking planet has a story for himself based on a bunch of stories you come up with come up with very subjective ideas for your tribe and area and nation and whatever and based on these subjective ideas you start killing each other because my subjective idea is that this land belongs to me and my kin and your subjective idea is that this land belongs to you and your kin there's a lot of empty land but no 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 we're talking about this land i like the view we can't build a two-story home you, I, I live on first floor you live on second floor can't do that, can't both use the same piece of land. Again, goes back to subjective ideas. None of these people started the war because they were hungry. None of these motherfuckers started the war because they were hungry. They started the war because of subjective ideas. Very subjective ideas which were based on their stories their tribes stories their nations stories and all nations have them all nations have them all tribes have these stories and folks stories are just stories i mean you, you shouldn't take away the objective of staying alive from live creatures based on very subjective matters such as real state and religion I mean, and, and the funny thing is, the stories, it all goes back to stories. And the funny thing is, now that the fight is over, who gets to tell those stories? Now, forever, has, the, the fight has been for who gets to tell the stories. Does the Hollywood get, get to tell the story? Or, you know, Putin gets to tell the story? Or TikTok gets to tell the story? Or, you know... Some cocksucker in that t TV station is getting a fat chick to, you know, pull a story out of his ass. <laughs> it because the story is creates the subjective view, subjective opinion, opinion which is a subjective matter. We already went over it. The stories make make the opinion which are subjective matters. And these stories end up killing people because, you know, these subjective ideas, if when they, you know, when they go head to head and they can't find a common, you know, logical solution, like let's build, let's increase the population density instead of trying to kick each other out. When, when the logic fails, and instead of you know increasing the population density they decide to they have to wipe each other out then and, and and please don't tell me it was the palestinians that you know no the subjective matter is that the ashkenazi folks who have moved to palestine to israel 
These folks don't want brown people around them. That's the whole spiel of it. They don't want brown people around them. They don't want the local Arab, brown people, native Arab, brown people around them. Therefore, they have pushed them back. Now these guys want to go back to their home. Therefore, they form posses and mobs and, you know, militia and whatever the fuck they form just in order to go back to their land. So it, it's, it's the Ashkenazi folks who don't want to live with brown people. Brown people, they just want to go back to their native land. It, it's the idea is the story has been said that yeah those people are dirty those people are bad those people are shit those people are fuck we want to only live with <coughs> we want to only live with our people we only want to associate with our own people during the day and night we don't want to associate with those people that's the whole thing about apartheid because that's that's apartheid is in the prescription if you, if you come if you come out and say we don't want to associate with a certain group of people period then you know you can't coexist because you don't want to associate and then you force the other people to say whether you know okay you don't want to associate with us go home go to wherever you came from he said no 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 we are here now but we still don't want to associate with you that's what happened to the fucking American Indians, the Redskins. It's sort of like the Europeans invited them uh, themselves in, and and then, you know, then they told the Redskins, "But we are we are here now, but we also don't want to associate with you, because you know we think you're you you're shit. We think you're you know backwards, and we think you're barbarians, and we don't like the way you look." And the way you talk and the way you walk and the way we don't like your story. So since your story, your subject, your subjective perspective on the world doesn't match with our subjective, you know, the whole spiel about civilization and the building and farming techniques and, you know, Jesus Christ and this and this religion, this ethnicity, this form of life. You know, not hunter-gatherer, but farmer. Again, these are all subjective matters that ends up taking away the the real objective of extension of life away from a whole bunch of people because somebody told a shitty story way in the past. And now a bunch of people have to die because somebody made up a shitty story? Fucking hey. When I say shitty story, with all due respect to all the religions, but when I say shitty story, I mean all these, all these religious books. These are all sh- stories. Some are shittier than others, but they're all shitty stories. That you know, people of different nation, one nation or different nation, have told themselves. They have been gathered, and, and for fuck's sake, they actually say the Bible is a collection of stories from disciples or people who knew the disciples of Jesus. Okay. They're stories. So the guy has sat down, verbally passed down some stories, and then many years later, a collection of these stories were put together and made into a Bible. Okay. So you do recognize these are stories, right? The same thing with the Torah, the same same thing with the Quran, the same thing with the you know whatever the fuck that Hindus read. All stories. Some of you admit that there are stories like the Bible, like the Torah. Some of you say no, no, no. Uh, this you know, one person said said this, and it was it was it came from God, like in the case of Islam. You know, a few go as far as saying, no, no, this was, you know, the word of God. This come, came straight down first class. A few go as far as that. Most admit that these are stories. So you're killing each other based on subjective beliefs that has arisen out of those stories that some cocksucker said many thousand years ago and has 
probably changed many times over these years because for a large portion of this time this story was has been passed down verbally so many modification has been made and you motherfuckers love telling stories and always these stories get exaggerated and you you you, you decide to take each other's life first because you can you have better arms and second because you know your stories don't match you know you you prefer your story better than you prefer their story Fucking eh. Almost ev- um, uh, everything around that we subjectively believe, understand, appreciate, or don't appreciate, it, these are all subjective matters. Oh. Is it worth killing each other, taking the away the the one and only objective of living creatures which is staying alive taking away the one and only objective their obje- one and only objective taking away their one and only objective over some subjective matter that are stories worthy of children it just you know it's not logical it doesn't make sense it makes humans look stupid Frankly, for, you know, as far as other intelligence is concerned, it just makes humans look stupid, extra stupid. Because it, it just makes, you know, those, those who tell these stories, you know, makes them look real bad and also those who believe in these stories makes them look bad. I mean... I feel on planet Earth, nobody should volunteer to be a soldier, period. Nobody from any country, nobody. And nobody, no, everybody should, you know, basically say, I'm not going to fight anybody, period. Because I don't think the fucking thing, killing each other over subjective matter, when there is enough objective, means of sustaining love and life available for all of us there is enough air food and water thank god with regards to food more or less there is enough food water and air enough available to sustain all creatures life on earth right now so since all these are available for everybody more or less The killing over subjective matters is just nonsense. I don't give a fuck what your book said. It's nonsense. It's a story some cocksucker told many thousand years ago. I'm not going to kill, you know, a brown guy, a black guy, a white guy, a red guy, a green. I'm not going to kill anybody because their stories don't match mine or doesn't match my sergeants, or doesn't match my captains, and the, or doesn't match my presidents, or my prime ministers, or my fucking dear leader. I, I, I'm not going to kill anybody because you're, you motherfuckers don't, can't agree on a story. Your stories don't match. Now I gotta get killed? Fuck you. Go, go, go fight them yourself. And there are videos that Ukrainians at this point don't want to fight. Don't want to fight. They're fighting not to fight. There are videos of Ukrainians being taken away by by force to join the military. Draft by force with, with you know brass knuckles. Are you fucking kidding me? The guy is saying, I don't care about your subjective sto- stories. I don't care about your stories, I don't care about your subjective view, I have a life, I want to keep my fucking life, and don't care about your subjective views. And you're saying that, no, 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 you have to die for our subjective views. 
and we don't die because we, we, we rule you. We got money and, you know, we don't have to fight. You go fight. You die because, you know, our stories don't match. My story is, is, is in, you know, is about Nazis and your story is about, the, you know, Potsies. Same thing in Israel. A lot of Jewish people, especially, you know, Orthodox Jewish people have left Israel, sort of like, you no, know, because they've, they've been told that you, let's go, you got to fight for our subjective worldview. Let's go. So they left the country because I think it's very logical. Hey, I, I don't want to lose this objective that I have, that is this thing in life. I don't want to give this shut up to reach your, to, you know, reach your subjective Obje object objective to reach your subjective objective to reach your subjective destination fuck you fuck you and your stories and your destination because i don't think that destination is worth dying for i'm a fucking creature i'm a monkey on this planet and more or less all of it looks the same killing each other over stories that some cocksucker put together, cooked up, many thousand years ago. Here's to sanity.